Hello traders and welcome to another video analysis. Today is Monday, 7 of December 2020. We are going to take a look at the Forex calendar and see what are the interesting setups on the uh, Forex market. So let's just swipe down towards the first uh, day of the week. As you can see, we got some data that been already um, delivered. As you can see, we got industrial production from the Germany that beats the expectations because it was released at the level of 3.2% uh, while the forecast was 1.8% uh, and it was better than the previous reading of 2.3%. Uh, uh, <clears throat> As you can see, there is not much of a high importance data uh, for today. We got some um, foreign currency reserves from Switzerland, Halifax house price index uh, from the uh, United Kingdom at uh, half past 10 and the general Centix investor confidence uh, from the Eurozone uh, scheduled for the release at 11.30. Uh, the most important event of today is the IV Purchasing Managers Index uh, from Canada scheduled for the release at 5 o'clock. It has a medium impact on the market and the forecast is 5.51.5 uh, um, uh, points and this is lower than the uh, last month uh, reading of 55.9 uh, so we will see what is the current situation on the um, uh, in the Canada with with this data uh, so I think we should take a look uh, for sure at the euro dollar at the pound and uh, and the Canadian dollar because uh, of this um, uh, data to be released uh, soon so let me just uh, go to the first uh, market I already prepared myself uh, for the uh, British pound and uh, and the US dollar uh, analysis, as you can see, we got the we got the daily time frame chart, and uh, the recently the market has uh, uh, moved above the level of 1.3486, and we got this dodgy candlestick here. It looks like a kind of a dodgy kind of a shooting star. Anyway, it's a kind of a pin bar that. Uh, that is telling us that the level of a uh, 1.3486 has been rejected. So please notice that there is some bearish pressure here uh, around this, along with this level. And the level of 1.35, I guess it was 12. It's a uh, it's a monthly monthly high from uh, from 2018. So we are already on a kind of a elevated levels anyway. So the bears are being active. They have pushed the price lower. The 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 market close around the level of a uh, 1.3439. And as and as you can see today, we are back into this main channel. This is kind of a wide wide channel here, and we are back into it. And of course. Uh, there is nothing wrong with testing the technical support at 1.33 uh, 13. Uh, so please pay attention to this level just below of it somewhere around uh, 1.32 45 50 there is this old trend line right it was already broken but if we get back below this trend line this is definitely bearish sign then this is indication of a of a new uh, uh new co new corrective cycle on this on this market we might get as as low as the level of 1.3110 uh, 1.316 uh, so please um pay attention to this uh, this kind of a price action as well so for today british pound going lower not kind of a good uh, indication here for the bears uh, let's take a look at the canadian dollar ahead of the data as you can see very 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 uh, bearish uh, bearish chart uh, if you remember this low is the uh, lowest level uh, since 2018 so it's a, it's a kind of an important important low and we might be uh, uh, getting some kind of a correction why because there is as you can see extremely uh, oversold market here and it's uh, on the level of 25 points already so if there is any bounce uh, may be triggered by the data by the today's data uh, of course we can get as high as 1.2928 in the first um, corrective wave but this um, 
the current uh, situation on the on the uh, Canadian dollar is not very good for uh, for bulls at all at all, and uh, this downtrend will probably be continued. So any kind of a bounce, any kind of a correction in this market should be treated as a uh, as only uh, lower degree correction in a in a down. Uh, trending uh, market so please uh, please get this um, into the account okay so these two levels are kind of uh, the most important right now on this chart 1.2783 and uh, technical resistance at 1.2928 so that was the Canadian dollar and as as usual let me just uh, do the uh, Euro because we got some data from Germany that that's been made already, and as you can see, level of 1.22 uh, had not been reached. We got this interesting pattern here. It looks like a bearish engulfing on a daily time frame chart. So this is itself uh, interesting uh, price action. And the other thing is, look at this over about market conditions. So it means that we might get some get some kind of a, either pullback. Or even correction. If we get as low as 1.2013, this will be uh, the correction, and that correction will be even bigger than this one. So that that might be the first indication of a potential correction to come. If we break below 1.2013, then the next support is 1.1916, and this will be definitely something completely different than the uptrend. So we might be very very close uh, to the correction. And please pay attention to the levels. Of course, we have the intraday supports, 1.2103, 1.2076. So those are the intraday supports. But if they are broken, that's the first indication that this is kind of a serious, um, a serious uh, candlestick pattern, candlestick reversal pattern. We got this pattern a couple of times before. We uh, previously even we have a doji. Uh, it didn't last for long. This this down uh, downtrend. Even it's not a downtrend. It's it's a, it's a correction or a pullback. It didn't last long anyway. So. No, please, uh, please pay attention for this one, for sure, because we might be getting a little bit more of the uh, of the uh, of the markets uh, for today. So, um, one point, uh, one point twenty one or three, one point twenty one to one point twenty seventy six. Those are the intraday supports, and then please pay attention to the key technical support one point one point twenty thirteen. For all of this uh, week, there will be some kind of an uh, important event uh, in, the, in the European Parliament. Uh, I mean, there will be um, uh, voting uh, uh, on a very um, uh, serious, uh, serious uh, stuff. Uh, and um, as as far as I can see, uh, usually they have some kind of an impact um, on the financial markets. It's not really listed. Um, in the in the forex calendar because it's purely political kind of an issue but it will be very very interesting to take a look what is going on in the uh, european parliament and if they are uh, getting too many vetoes uh, on this um, uh, of this uh, different uh, laws that they are trying to introduce then the euro might react very very uh, viciously especially after some officials made some comments so please pay attention to the euro this week this is, this is the key week the last week that they are that they can pass the bills pass the laws and different issues from the european parliament so i think the, it might have some kind of a important um uh, implication on the EU every euro related pass so that's everything for me for today for the beginning of the week uh, thank you very much for watching and i hope i see you guys tomorrow bye bye